Shall we praise the Lord, everyone? Shall we praise the Lord? Let's get up on our feet and give God praise because he deserves all the praise that's due unto his name. Let's magnify him. Let's glorify him. We are in the house of God another time. We got to give God thanks. Some people, it's your first time here. Give God thanks for your first time here in a long time. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, Jesus. We give you all the glory, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. You are wonderful. You are marvelous. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, God. You deserve the praise. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. Hallelujah. We magnify you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We bless your name, God. We praise your name, Jesus. For you are great. For you are wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Closer than a brother, my Jesus is to me. He's my dearest friend. He's everything I need.
and we're going to go to 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, and verse 11 to 14. Praise God, hallelujah. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. And let's, and we'll also be reading verse 11 to 14. So verse 1 to 2, and we'll jump to 11 to 14. So let's read this together. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven. Elijah and Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, I, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And let's go to verse 11. Came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a pair of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up to whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot, Israel, and horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. He took up the mantle, mantle and Elijah fell on him. And he took the mantle of Elijah and fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. Here ended the reading of God's holy word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As we go into prayer, we ask you just to think about any prayer requests that you have and just put them into the atmosphere because we know God's a healer, we know God is a deliverer. And today, as we pray, pray for one another. Pray for those who you see and you don't see because everyone needs covering. Everyone needs God to cover them under the blood. We're all going through different situations, different circumstances. We may not know, we may not know what to say, but God knows exactly what to do. Heavenly Father, today as we come before you in prayer, we know, Lord God, that it's nothing of our own, Lord God, but we know that you are the ultimate God. We praise you, Lord Jesus, because you are our keeper. You are our way maker. You are our provider. You are our giver, Jesus. We thank you for being God and God alone. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, today on this Sunday, I pray, Lord God, that you be in this atmosphere. I pray, God, that you touch each and every person who's here today, Lord God. You know the issues that everyone's dealing with, Lord God. You know sicknesses, Lord God. You know diseases, Lord Jesus. You know pain. You know hurt, Lord God. You understand it all, Lord God. You understand peace. You understand joy. There's nothing, Lord God, that is too hard for you. Nothing that you don't understand. There's nothing outside of your realm. Lord God, I pray, Jesus, that you would touch your people today. Allow them, Lord God, to feel your spirit. Allow them, Lord God, to feel your presence. Wrap around them, Lord God. Comfort them, Lord Jesus. Lord God, someone needs to feel your comfort, Lord God. Someone needs to feel your arms around them Jesus someone needs to feel your peace someone needs joy Lord God you know each and every need and I pray that you meet every need of your people today touch those who are at home Lord God wherever they may be Lord Jesus send your angels Lord God to every hospital Lord God send your angels Lord God to every home Lord Jesus any nursing homes Lord God send them out there Lord Jesus hallelujah Lord God we ask you Lord God that you will carry us through this week cover us Lord God anything Lord God, that we find too hard, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, to guide us through those situations, Lord God. Open up doors, Lord God, that we may not see, Lord Jesus. Send jobs our way, Lord God. Send the finances our way, Lord God. Send the blessings our way, Lord God. Send the deliverance our way, Jesus. Send the healing, Lord God, because we need you every and we need you, Lord God, today, Lord God. We need you more today than we need you before, Jesus. And we ask you, Lord God, to be with us, Lord God. Cover us, Jesus. God us, Lord God, allow us to leave here with a word. Allow us to leave here fulfilled. Allow us, Lord God, to leave here, Lord God, knowing that we are blessed. Knowing that you have everything under control. Touch the preacher as he preaches. Touch the musicians as they play. Lord God, everyone who partakes in ministry today, be with us, Lord God. Cover us, Lord Jesus. Allow this service, Lord God, to be led according to your Holy Spirit, Lord God. We give you praise, God. We give 
Someone say he's worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. Jesus. You are worthy. Someone give him praise. Hallelujah. He is a faithful God. He is a worthy God. Hallelujah. 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 We need you, Jesus. Lord, we need you, Jesus. We need more of you, God. Lord Jesus, we humble ourselves before you, Jesus. And we know we need you today, God. Hallelujah. We need your glory. I want your glory. Less of me and more of you is what I need. Show me your glory. Show me your power. Less of me and more. for yourself. Less of me, Less of me and more, more of you is what I need. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your power. Show me your power. Oh, less of me. Less of me and more of you is what
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus because we know children are gifts of love that are given to us by God. They're inheritance of the Lord. They're given to us as blessings and we have the responsibility of giving them back unto God. How sweet to hold a newborn together and bless the Lord. We're going to ask you to remain standing until after the dedication scripture, which comes to us from the book of St. Mark, chapter 10, verse 13 to 16. And the word of the Lord says, and they brought young children to him, that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of God, heaven. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. Here is the reading of the word of the Lord. The congregation may be seated at this time. This morning we have Nikisha Anne Marie Jonas and Dwayne Darrell Phillips. Where are they? All right, on my right. They have their daughter, Nika. Nikari, they are a Phillips to be presented unto the Lord. Likewise, we have Yannick Alicia Smith and Glenville G. Smith with their son, Lake, how do you pronounce it? Lake or Lake? Lake Cario Smith to be presented unto the Lord. Accompanying these parents, we have godparents as well as other family members and friends. 
Parents, um, is this your earnest desire that your child be dedicated unto God to grow in the nature and the admonition of the Lord? If that's your desire. Could both set of parents respond with, this is my desire? Beautiful. To allow your child to walk in the abundant life of Christ, you promise to commit yourselves to dependence upon God to fulfill your parental duties. Uh, parents, could you answer, I hereby promise? Modeling this kind of love cannot be done alone. It requires the help of others. I'm not sure if the godparents are here, but if they're here and I call your name, you can stand wherever you are. For this reason, we have Sandy Samuel and Megan Mary as designated godparents for Nikari. Praise God, we have one. Praise God. We all put your hands together for the godparent. Right? We also have Latoya Wallace, amen, and Noel Davy as designated godparents for Lake. If there's any godparents here, please stand. And please remain standing, godparents. Godparents, in the course of living, family experience crisis situations as well as joyous situations. Children go through various stages of growth and development. At such times, the parents may need your support to encourage and strengthen them. They have asked you to be available to share in the joy of seeing their child grow up. And so do you promise to maintain a close relationship with the family, lend a compassionate and a listening ear, and without interfering, encourage your godchild to excel socially, academically, and spiritually. Godparents could respond with, I hereby promise. All right, I got the acknowledgement. Finally, I want to charge all the members, can we stand if you're in the church today? And friends, to consider your role and involvement in life of these children. Amen. These parents need our help. I charge you to live an exemplary life before these children, one that will point them in the direction of Christ. Remembering, no man is an island, no man stands alone. We are prepared to anoint these children as the praise team sings, anointing fall on me. Anointing. I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for your dedication. I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for your dedication. Set me free. Let the power. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. The anointing fall on me. Let us pray. O oh, eternal God and our Father, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are the altogether lovely. In my hand, Lord God, I hold your son, a precious gift that you have given to his mother and his father. I thank you, Lord God, for his life to this point. You have kept him, his, kept him in his mother's womb. You have brought him out a proper child. I thank you for the breath he breathes. I thank you for every lung, Lord, every, function, every organ in his body. Lord God, I pray you'll bless him that he'll be blessed with good health and strength. If there's any sickness in his body, I pray, God, you'll heal him and deliver him. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, you'll keep him from diseases that is plaguing the land right now. We pray, Lord God, when he goes through the school system, that, Lord God, you'll bless him with excellence, with knowledge, with understanding. Bless every teacher that him shall instruct him, every friend he shall have. I pray, God, you'll guide him by day and by night. Remember his mother and his father. Bless their house, that there be love, peace, joy, and contentment in their house. I pray, God, you'll bless them with resources, that there be abundance, O oh God in their house. I pray God you'll cover him by day and by night. Let no evil befall him or any plague come not his dwelling. But I pray God you'll give your angels charge over him. I pronounce a blessing upon this little young man Lake right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare your glory. I declare your honor. I declare your praise upon his life. Lord God keep him Lord Jesus. Sustain him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise, glory, and honor, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. The anointing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you one more time. I present, Lord God, this precious gem, Lord God. You have given her unto her mother and father. Lord God, you have kept her in her mother's womb and you have brought her out, a beautiful and a proper child. I give you thanks for her life. I give you thanks for the breath that she breathed. Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord God, right now, 
that you bless her internally and externally. I pray you'll keep her from sicknesses and from diseases that may attack her body. Even the current plague on the land, Lord, I pray you'll protect her, God. I pray, Lord, she remain healthy and strong. Lord God, when she grows up, when she goes through the school system, I pray for your guidance and protection. I pray you'll cover her, Lord. Bless her with excellence and knowledge. Lord God, bless her teachers. Bless her friends. Lord God, her mother, her father. I pray, God, you'll bless them with abundance. Open the windows of heaven and pour down blessing upon their house. That there be peace and contentment. That there be joy. That there be strength. Open doors, Lord God, and make provisions right now. I pray you'll guide her and I pray you'll keep her. I pray you'll protect her and I pray you'll cover her. Let no weapon that is formed against her, God, shall prosper. I declare a blessing upon your daughter right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray your covering and I pray your guidance. Lord God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Come on, magnify the Lord, everybody. Come on, magnify the Lord, everybody. Come on, magnify the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together and bless God for these children. Can you stretch your hands to them and say, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. One more time. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And the third time, you're blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Put your hands together for these parents. Praise God. On behalf of Kingdom Life Ministries, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, we thank you for choosing Kingdom Life to bless your handsome son. May heaven bless you as he grows up in the fear of the Lord. I present unto you his certificate in Jesus' name. God bless you in Jesus' name. On behalf of Kingdom Life Ministries, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, I present unto you the certificate of your daughter's dedication. May God bless you as you continue to take care of her. May she grow up to be that beautiful and wonderful child. Thank you for choosing Kingdom Life to bless your daughter. God bless you in Jesus' name. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. God's been so good to me. Every day is blessing.
bless your servant. Bless this word today. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. You may be here, Shia. You may be seated. Woo! Shako Satayamahosa. Glory to God. Anybody feel Jesus in this place? Woo! Jesus. Come on, somebody do another bow shanda. Somebody worship him. Get a little bit more praise in this house. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Aya. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Ah. I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus in this place. I said, I feel Jesus in this place. Glory to God. Somebody holler Jesus. Right in your seat, just say Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. You come to Oshanda Masio. Praise God. We bless God. Oh, Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, oh. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I feel Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hey. Glory to God. Glory. Walk and talk in the new Jerusalem way. Our text have been read earlier. And it takes us into Israel during the time of Ahab. This text in the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 is set around 900 BC. God raised up a prophet by the name of Elijah. To pronounce judgment upon a wicked king. Glory. The Bible tells us in James chapter 5 and 16. That Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. Passion like ours. And the Bible said he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain upon the land for three and a half years. The Bible says in verse 16 of James chapter number 5. That Elijah, sorry, verse 17, that Elijah prayed again, and the heaven gave rain. That was verse 18. And the earth produced fruit. And so after many miracles, including the raising of the dead, the multiplying of the meal and flour in the, the, sorry, the oil in the widow's barrel, God tells Elijah to choose a successor by the name of Elisha. And so my subject for this morning, for the time that I have with you, is simply in the form of a question. Are you qualified for this mantle? Are you qualified for this mantle? You've got to remember that in the time of awakening, amen, you've got to be qualified to wear the mantle of the anointing. Sisters and brothers, it is quite easy to miss the divine plan of God for our lives. It is very easy to miss the opportunities that God has prepared for us, his people. Because we've got to understand that the road of the 
we travel in this salvation sometimes it's difficult sometimes the road is twisted and the Bible tells us that this young boy by the name of Elisha amen when Elijah called him he was just a farm boy amen he was plowing he was in his father's field and the Bible said that Elijah passed and he put his mantle upon him and the Bible said that this young boy Elisha would later come on to become one of the greatest prophets of God because he was an understudy of Elijah many years passed and Elijah led and Elisha followed and as he followed Elijah amen he got to a point where he could sense that there was a paradigm shift that was about to take place I wonder if there's anybody here that realized if you follow God relentlessly there will come a time in your life when a paradigm shift will take place and so in our text in verse 1 the Bible says it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elisha hallelujah went with Elijah from Gilgag. Brothers and sisters, amen. I want us to understand that we are all on a journey. And this journey that we are on is in the realm of the supernatural. We are in a journey to experience the miraculous. And on this journey, you cannot afford to be distracted. You cannot afford to look to the right or look to the left you cannot afford to let people take your attention from worshiping the true and living God because God has a place that is prepared for us and God has a mantle that is going to be placed upon you and you need to be qualified for this mantle somebody say amen and so uh, in this spirit, in this season, uh, amen, of rebuilding, uh, in this season uh, of spiritual awakening, uh, God has a plan for me. Uh, and I tell you this, uh, I'm not going to miss uh, my divine assignment. Uh, I'm not going to allow anybody uh, to distract me uh, from where God is taking me. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost in here uh, because many of us uh, will get happy happy when we know God have a plan for us we will get happy when we know there's a place for us but we cannot ignore the fact that we are gonna go through some rough patches we're gonna go through some difficulties in other words you better be prepared for the anointing that God wants to put on your life you can't testify of the goodness of God unless you're quite qualified to do so you can't preach to me that God is a deliverer unless you are qualified to do so we have too many people that are running around without any qualification amen they haven't met Jesus and they want to tell you about Jesus but can I preach it like I feel it amen the anointing that I wear the mantle that I carry I don't need to ask anybody but I'm qualified is there any anybody here that is qualified to wear your anointing just shout in the atmosphere I'm qualified for this and so uh, I feel in my spirit this morning uh, that we are in a critical time uh, in the body of Christ uh, and we as workers in the kingdom uh, we must rise up and claim uh, our spiritual heritage uh, we need to step into the birthright of the supernatural uh, because I believe that our country are at war uh, I'm not talking about uh, a physical war uh, but I'm talking about uh, spiritual warfare and our battle is not with flesh and blood but our battle is against principalities it's against powers it's against the rulers of darkness it's against spiritual wickedness in high places amen allow me to declare what God wants you to hear this morning and so the Bible said that Elijah began from Gilgal and he 
began to go through various cities. But you've got to understand that he was not randomly just attending different cities. It was a strategic plan and he was taking Elisha through a process because Elijah knew that his time was almost up and he knew that Elisha was going to succeed him. But up until that time, Elisha had only seen the miraculous and the supernatural. He had seen some stuff, but Elijah knew that in order for Elisha to succeed him, he must become personally acquainted with the supernatural. He must become personally acquainted with the anointed of God. And so the Bible says that Elijah took Elisha to Gilgal. Now you've got to understand what Gilgal means because Gilgal in Joshua chapter 5 was the place where Joshua took some sharp knives and he began to circumcise the people of Israel for the second time. It was a place where the old was taken away. It was a place where you had to cut the flesh. It was a rolling away of reproach. And I come by to let you know uh, until you have been circumcised in the heart uh, you're not qualified uh, for the anointing uh, and so you get upset uh, when people cut you uh, but I come back to let you know uh, when they are cutting you uh, they are just preparing you uh, is there anybody here uh, that don't mind the cut uh, because you think you're hurting me uh, but you're actually preparing me uh, can I say this it just dropped into my head uh, I've heard it said uh, I'm not sure if it's biblically true, uh, but it kind of fits what I want to say. Uh, so I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, I've heard it said uh, that boys who are circumcised, uh, they are able to get a woman pregnant uh, much more quickly uh, than a boy that's not circumcised. Uh, what are you talking about, Bishop? Uh, the boy that's circumcised uh, don't have no barrier because the barrier has been cut away. Uh, but the boy that's not circumcised, uh, there is a barrier. Uh, and I come back to let you know. Uh, when God begin to cut you uh, he's cutting away the barriers uh, to your productivity I feel like preaching uh, if you want to be productive uh, you gotta get rid of the barrier you gotta lay aside the weight uh, and the sin uh, that so easily beset us uh, can I preach it like I feel it uh, somebody need to be caught uh, amen that's why uh, the devil seemed to be on your case uh, but God said it's not the devil I'm just preparing you uh, for the mantle uh, of the anointing uh, that's why uh, some preachers preach uh, and they don't have no result uh, because they're not qualified. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that knows what I'm saying? Uh, when you are qualified, uh, glory to God, uh, the oil will flow uh, from the top to the bottom. Uh, I hear the Holy Ghost saying, uh, you need to tell the people, they need to stop worrying uh, about promotion uh, and worry about uh, qualification. Uh, Shanda, because people are more worried about promotion than qualification. I don't need to be promoted. I need to be qualified because when I'm qualified, my gifts will make room for me, will bring me before great men. Can I preach it like I feel it? Somebody holler in the atmosphere. I've got to get qualified. Sit down, I have a few more minutes. I uh, saw so the Bible said uh, they left Gilgal uh, after he went to the place of circumcision. Uh, he left Gilgal uh, and he came to Bethel. Uh, now Bethel means uh, the house of God uh, or the house of bread. Uh, this is where uh, Jacob saw the ladder extending from earth to heaven uh, and angels descending and ascending uh, and he called it the house of God uh, and the gateway to heaven um, and so Bethel means fellowship uh, it means communion with God uh, it speaks of intimacy uh, it speaks of relationship uh, if you don't pray don't preach uh, if you don't pray don't sing uh, if you don't pray don't testify uh, you may be mad at me this morning uh, but if you can't come on the prior line uh, and pray even one time uh, you're not qualified to preach to me huh? you're not qualified to talk to me huh? because all you have huh? is just a sounding you're just a sounding brass huh? or a tickling cymbal huh? I come back to preach like I feel it this morning huh? you may get upset huh? but I got to get you to Gilgal huh? to because 
oh God help me this morning uh, because I feel uh, that in our churches uh, not just kingdom life uh, we have too many unqualified people trying to lead people to the kingdom of God uh, and that's why the church is messed up uh, that's why ministries are messed up uh, because you only have a mouth uh, but you don't have qualification uh, oh Shanda you only have a desire but you don't have qualification that's why you gotta get you off the choir you gotta uh, that's why COVID came uh, to mess up the system uh, to root out the unqualified uh, I didn't come to preach like this uh, but I feel the Holy Ghost say uh, in this season uh, God is getting ready to root out some people I expect some resignations uh, I expect some people to leave uh, because God said uh, only the qualified uh, can carry the anointing uh, only the qualified I made some folks missionaries evangelists but are they really qualified Kato Shatarabahaya just because you have the title doesn't mean you're qualified for the title the Bible said they left Jericho, uh, Bethel I got a rush and they came to Jericho now Jericho is a place of warfare as they finish communicating with God they got to expect some warfare that is where they march around the wall seven times sometimes you have to do the same thing over and over again Pastor, why are we singing the same song? Because the wall don't fall yet. Why are we doing the same message? Because the wall don't fall yet. Why are we doing the same thing, Pastor? We did this last year, but the wall don't fall yet. We need some people that have the stamina of Jericho that will stop complaining when you're in the process. And when the pastor says march, you don't care if we march six times, you're still going to march because I'm at Jericho. Is there any Jerichoites in the house that don't you don't mind doing it again. You don't mind praying again. You don't mind singing again. You don't mind another week of fasting. You don't mind another week of praying. Because in Jericho, I do it again. Because I'm heading somewhere. I got to hurry. And the Bible said, oh, let me hurry through this. And the Bible said, they came to Jordan. And this is where I'm going to park and finish. No, Jordan speaks of death. Jordan represents a dividing line. It is a place where we stand today in the body of Christ. It is a dividing line between the flesh and the spirit. So Jordan represents a place where you either step in the supernatural or you stay in the flesh. The Bible said it was a Jordan where axe head swim. It was a Jordanbo Shanda. I and swim at Jordan. Amen. It was a Jordan where Naaman was healed of his leprosy. Glory to God. It was at Jordan where the barefoot priests, they carried the ark into the Jordan River. And Jordan departed or separated because Jordan is a place of the supernatural. It's a place where you begin to experience death. And so the Bible said that Elijah came to Jordan and with his mantle, amen, Jordan was divided. And they walked across up until that time. Time. Uh, nothing could separate them um, but I want you to understand uh, that there were some folks uh, there were some false prophets uh, there were some prophets watching uh, waiting to see uh, the Bible said there were about 50 of them uh, glory to God was mocking Elijah uh, because they wanted to do uh, to know uh, what Elisha was going to do uh, and so the Bible said uh, that when they got there uh, amen Elijah said to him uh, I feel like closing this out uh, ask what what you will and you shall get it and Elisha said I only want a double portion of your anointing 
Glory to God, I don't want your mantle. I just want the anointing. But give me double for my trouble. Because I've been serving you for six years. You never recognize me. You never ask me to pray. I never run a prayer meeting. You never give me a title. It's for six years. People laugh at me. People mock me. But I still follow. Is there anybody here that can still follow? When people mock you. That can still follow. When people criticize you. And so they're watching. And the Bible said. When the fire of the chariot. It came down. And it picked up Elijah. That Elisha saw it. And said my master, my master. And the Bible said. That the mantle of Elijah. It fell down. Good God from glory. And Elijah said. I saw it now. I saw the glory. I saw the anointing. And I got the mantle. And if I see the glory. And I have the mantle. Then I'm qualified. And the Bible said. That when he got to Jordan. He took up the mantle. And he smote Jordan. And he said where is the Lord God of Elijah. And the Bible said. That Jordan departed. That Jordan separated. Because he was qualified. Because he served. Because he labored. Because he was faithful. Because he was committed. Because he was dedicated. Is there anybody here? You're willing to serve. You're willing to be faithful. You're willing to be committed. You're willing to be dedicated. Somebody jump on your feet. And give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. Somebody so qualified. Somebody so qualified. Amen. Press along saints. I said press along saints. Persecution. You must bear trial and crosses in the way. But the heart of the battle. I said the heart of the battle. The heart of the battle. The sweet of the victory. Press along. Press along. Push along. It's forward still. This Jehovah's will. Go the pillows. Dash and spray with the concrete tread. We will push ahead and roll the sea away. Somebody declare, I'm qualified for this. I'm qualified for this. When I shout, it's because I'm qualified. When I preach, it's because I'm qualified. When I pray, it's because I'm qualified. And about shout out of the higher. If you're qualified, just begin to praise him. I'm qualified. I'm qualified. Somebody hollow in the atmosphere. I'm qualified for this mantle. I'm qualified for this mantle. I'm in the church of God. And I'm qualified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody worship him. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on me this afternoon morning. Hala bo shanda makosaya. Aya bo shanda mamasu. I'm caught up bo shada la bahaya. Hey God. Anybody feel that qualification in your spirit? That qualification in your soul. Uh, that's why you come to church this morning. Uh, because you're qualified for worship. Uh, you're qualified for praise. Spirit of Spirit of the living God fall afresh on If you're listening, you're under the sound of my voice. And you're not yet saved. Now is your time. If you're not baptized in Jesus' name, glory to God. If you're in the house, please see an usher and let them know that you want to change your life. If you're watching from home or wherever you are, glory, go onto our website, klife.ca. Go to baptism. If you're a backslider, go send us a message to info at klife.ca. Hallelujah. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, 
you can receive the Holy Ghost right in your seat where you are right now if you are willing to open up your heart he'll qualify you open up your lips and your mouth and worship him he'll qualify you glory to God come on somebody zero in the anointing right now release that power upon somebody come on release that anointing in this house release that anointing in this house father in the name of Jesus we come before you right now qualify your people today oh glory to God make us to know our end Jesus fall afresh on us today God like the anointing received by Elisha I pray God you'll rest upon us Ooh. Jesus we need you right now God bless somebody deliver somebody heal somebody in Jesus name glory to come come on keep on worshiping Fresh. Oh, come on keep on worshiping somebody said make me break me melt me that one more time spirit of the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you qualified for this mantle? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Holy God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. As you continue to worship, please take your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are a good God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. On behalf of our pastor, Bishop Barrington Smith and his wife, our First Lady, Minister Crean Smith, we would like to thank you for being with us in the sanctuary and watching us online. Praise God. Praise God. Truly, the word was rich today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And it behoves even me, hallelujah, to assess myself to find out if I am qualified for this mantle. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Please continue to check our Kingdom Life Facebook and Instagram pages for our flyers for all upcoming online and sanctuary sessions. Please note our times for our prayer line and online sessions are as follows. Monday and Friday, the prayer line will be at 7.30 p.m. only. Tuesday and Thursday, our prayer line will be at 5 a.m. only. Wednesday, July the 8th, 
Please join us for an interactive Facebook Bible studies at 7.30 p.m. This Saturday, um, our scheduled unfiltered session will be canceled due to the homegoing service. Please be reminded when you are joining the prayer line, you must have a Canada-wide long distance plan on your phone to avoid incurring long distance fees on your phone bill. We hope that you will join us in prayer. Hallelujah. Homegoing service information are as follows. The homegoing service for our dear sister, Colleen Savory, will be held on Saturday, July the 11th, 2020. The viewing will be from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. The service will commence at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Currently, we are only able to accommodate 100 people in the sanctuary due to health and safety protocols. We will be observing all social and physical distancing protocols, including wearing a mask. If you will be attending, you are asked to arrive 30 minutes prior to the start time, 8.30 a.m. for the viewing or 9.30 a.m. for the service. If you have not received an email confirming your attendance, please note this. If you have not received an email confirming your attendance to attend, or you are just unable to be there, please note the service will be streamed on our website at www.klife.ca. Please continue to keep the family in prayer. Registration for next Sunday will be opened at 10.30 a.m. Please visit our website and click the link for registration or visit our Facebook page at Kingdom Life Ministries. For more information, please feel free to email us at info at klife.ca. Registration will be closed on Thursday at 11.59 p.m. A confirmation and or reminder email will be sent on Friday evening to everyone who has registered. Please be reminded that we continue to practice the social distancing. If you aren't able to be in attendance to the services, please continue to worship with us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, and our website via live stream. If you would like to sow a seed in this ministry or to give your tithes and offering, please go to our website at www.klife.ca and select the online giving option. Or you can e-transfer and send your donation to donations at klife.ca. Please note it is donations with an S. If you prefer to mail your donation by check, please send it to Kingdom Life Ministries, 1166 Cardiff Boulevard, in the city of Mississauga. Postal code is L as in Larry, five S as in Sam, one P as in Peter, seven. Kingdom Life now has an additional payment option. You can now give your donations by adding K-Life Ministries as a bill payment option through your online banking. Currently, we are set up with RBC, which is the Royal Bank of Canada, and Scotiabank, with Toronto Dominion and Bank of Montreal to follow. More financial institutions will also be looked into. If you are interested in setting up this option, please contact Sister Eliever Baker via email at ebaker at klife.ca to receive your specific account number. Again, email is ebaker, E-B-A-K-E-R at klife.ca to receive your specific account number. The 2020 K-Life Extended Hand Scholarship and Bursary Fund is now open for applicants. All interested individuals must submit an application form to klife.scholarshipfund at klife.ca on or before 11.59 p.m. July 19th, 2020. 
late applications will not be accepted. Application forms can now be downloaded and printed online via the website at www.klife.ca. For further information, please refer to the application form or forward inquiries to klife.scholarshipfund at klife.ca. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We pray that you keep all these notices in mind. They are in detail, but a lot of information can be find, found on our website. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we stand as we bring our service to a close? Praise the Lord. Praise God. God is a good God. As we raise our right hands, let us just pronounce the benediction. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding great joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Before you Praise go. Praise the Lord and thank you for watching our live stream service today at Kingdom Life Ministries. We pray that your heart was blessed. Now, if you are planning to attend our service on next week, remember you must register on our Kingdom Life page at www.klife.ca and you must fill in your registration there so that we can have you listed as those attending our service. Now, you have to do that by Thursday, no later than 12 a.m. So register and we will 